Back in the late 70s was, uh, if you can imagine, compared to now, that there was no black players playing in the Premiership, which was called the old First Division. And it was a, a culture or a mindset from coaches and managers that they thought black players you know, couldn't handle the cold weather, they were fancy dance, uh, they didn't have enough courage, uh, you know, they didn't think we were good players, basically, because of their mindset. So at West Bromwich Albion, when myself, Laurie Cunningham and Brendan Batson, uh, there were three of us in one team um, back in 1977-78, and there was another uh, black guy called uh, Viv Anderson and Knotts Forest. We were the only black players in the Premiership at the time, which was the old First Division. So you can imagine um, uh, the, the the racism that we we had in, in our day. We used to have you know five to ten thousand people shouting racist abuses at us, uh, and we used to have bananas on the pitch, a bullet for the post. But really, nowadays, it's very, very rare. But looking back on, on years, looking back, that the, the effect was, um, back in the 70s, we hardly saw any black players playing football. So the young players, the second generation, people like um, Ian Wright, John Barnes, uh, those lads, the second generation, saw us playing football on the black and white TV, or back, in the, back then, and thought, if they can do it, I can do it. Regis taking it well on the chest and a lovely piece of control by Regis. Oh, and what a great...